y'all remember that song? Ah, yes. My first kiss at, at the skating rink with Donnie. <laughs> yep. Anyway, don't you love how music can take you back, you know, to the day? And don't you love how it just gets you out of the mood, you know? This is a big thing. Like, when you're trying to create the new you, don't just sit in the dang house and become stagnant you. Shake yourself out of it. This is what I do sometimes because still in my life, the diabolical force and many other things coming at me every day. But you know what? So, everybody's got stuff, right? So instead, I choose to focus on something else, something positive and beautiful. Furthermore, I have this very odd hairdo because it's been very rainy here and my mommy and I were out and about and we found Chris for some fabulous presents and surprises for his birthday. And now I'm on the way to my beloved ugly table at the curb market and I know there will be a lot of uglies there because it is Saturday afternoon and they're closed Sunday and they love to have a clean sweep of anything that might be not quite at the very peak, well, by Monday. So that means lots of things for me today. Now. Tonight on my smoothie recipe, I'm getting slightly, not bored, but I just want something a little different. And I think I'm going to do like a um, chili soup recipe. So I have to see what I, um, I have, but I'm going to start with some Roma tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes because those are in my garden fresh, probably some um, banana peppers, and some coconut water because I have a delicious fresh coconut. So, we'll have to see what's at the market in just a few minutes. And I also wanted to say, um, metamorphosizing yourself. You know, in my, in my little doggy room, which is like what I think used to be like a storage utility room, and they, they closed it into part of the house, and it's like bookshelves. I think somebody had an office in there. You know, my, my house is almost ancient, so you never know. There could be a dead body in there. Furthermore, money under one of the wooden boards on the floor, which I am feeling very positive about. So one day, show me the money. So anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, so in there I have a big mural that I've painted on the wall that says, Fly Butterfly. But today, I'm painting over that. Because I, I use that phrase as a stepping stone in my life over the past few years, and now it almost doesn't apply because I don't need to remind myself to fly. You know what I mean? I fly every dang day. I'm no longer a caterpillar. That's been long gone. But every day now, I'm free to dance. And that is my new catchphrase. And I'm painting over that and I'm going to have the mural masterpiece. And the background's going to be yellow. And I don't even know. But it's very exciting. And it will be perfect. Do you know why? Because I only have to make it for me. I don't have to make sure it's exactly right. I don't have to. No. Just for me. So anyway, um, I'll bring you on the curl market in a minute and we will see what we're having. And also I'm going to get some fresh ginger. Um, not ginger, but I'm going to, I might get some ginger too. But I'm going to get some um, fresh cinnamon to grate into some lemon water. And I'm going to be sipping on that. So anyway, I'll see you on just a little bit. In the market with Tanya, and yes, we're going to have the chili soup tonight, and it's going to have this. It is going to have sweet onions, and I'm going to use um, I like these kind, they're kind of small, and that way I can just use the whole thing. Let me show you what they look like. I like this, they're really small. Then I'm going to have two of these hot banana peppers, and then I'm going to have four carrots. I'm going to have a fourth of an avocado. I'm going to have two tablespoons of frozen shaved coconut, pure coconut. I'm going to have four dates, four tomatoes, um, and about two tablespoons of chili powder. On a normal day, I would put about, well, it depends. You could put about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar if you eat that. Plus, it could aid in your digestion of this, but this is going to be really good. Let's see. Oh yes, I'm going to have a handful of mushrooms too. I like the little dark button mushrooms. So, there you have it. Sweet onion, carrot, mushroom, avocado, coconut, four dates, four tomatoes. 
two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of chili powder. Shazam! Like this, I drop it low and pick it up just like this. Yeah. Cup of ace, cup of boots, cup of crisp. I heal something worth a half a ticket on my wrist. On my wrist, taking all the licks. <laughs> You're still out and about with Tanny. I was just thinking about it to myself. I was watching someone earlier on their YouTube who's Miss Jenny of Team Broccoli. And if you don't follow her, guys, get on board. She is just a real individual, the real deal. You know, trying her bestest every dang day, sometimes falling, and you know what? Getting back up. And that's what I'm talking about. So, what I want to say about that is she was on there talking about why she keeps on failing why does she keep on falling down and hurting and she has got um crohn's disease and it hurts her and what has brought her to this point this very day is this she said i am sick of being sick and that is exactly the point i came to in my life i was so sick of being sick i was too young to be dying too young to not feel vibrant and thriving and be able to care for my kids and my husband and I was just sick of being sick and so I decided that I was going to give it the wholehearted try to give it my A game you know as I ventured down the road and as I learned and you know what I had to keep on tweaking myself I had to keep on saying okay I'm going to give this vegan thing my wholehearted try and then guess what I had to give raw vegan my wholehearted try then learned a little more had to drop down the fat had to give low fat raw vegan my wholehearted try had to learn had to incorporate as many greens and as many minerals as my body needed had to get the iron that I was deficient in I learned and I tried and I tried and I tried and guess what I have gone from being sick on my deathbed to thriving I was just riding down the road here it is at four o'clock I feel like energy is like zinging through my veins you know what I mean like it's an it's almost an untamable force like I don't have anyone to play with you know? <laughs> it sort of can be a problem because it's, it's just hard to connect with people that are like that. So you have to just be happy being you, you know? Be happy to realize that you aren't drawn down like society. You aren't drugged up, you know? Muted down. Sat down and shut up, you know? Instead, you're going to stand up and speak up. So I have to go into the Aldi to get our last little component for this sweet chili recipe for the night. And it's kind of cool here. And I'm going to sit on my screen porch with my blankie. And it's going to be kind of raining. And I am going to wash and dry my puppies so they can snuggle me. And I'm going to turn on my lanterns. And it will be a romantic evening with Tanny, Maxie, and Ellie Mae. <laughs> oh. And I'll turn on some music too. I'm not even dance with myself. <laughs> Just your girlfriend. Would you remember? Tell me all the things you forgot when I was your man. <laughs> Sing it, Prince. I am coming to y'all one last time because I have just created one of my best soups ever. Are you ready? You will want to get out your old school pencil and paper. Let me give you a minute. If I was your girlfriend, would you remember all the things you forgot when I was your man? Okay, now, here's what it takes. One stalk of celery. One small yellow Vidalia onion that was about the size of that one. As you see, it's kind of small. Just peel it, throw it in. Two carrots that were not that big, they were about this big. Just kind of, they're actually kind of small. Sort of cute, isn't it? Two of those. Four of your baby portobello mushrooms that are this size. Look, I'm more specific because this is really good. Um, two tablespoons of frozen coconut meat. Just, it's just coconut. Um, I think it's called shredded coconut. It's just frozen. All, all it says is coconut meat. Two tablespoons of that. Four small dates pitted and capped. Check for critters. 
four medium-sized fat boy tomatoes, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of chili powder, and I had two of the, they were decent size, they're hot banana peppers. This has a kick. You might want to add one of those and then go back and add some more if you don't like it really spicy. It only has a little after bite, but I don't want you to ruin it. So add one. It's, a, it's called a hot banana pepper. They still look green. Sometimes they're starting to turn a little red, but anyway, they're very tasty. So I added two of those. Here's what it looks like. This is so good. I, I can't even describe to you. It's kind of thick. And if you're after your detox plan, when you want to... um have a chunkier soup, this would be a great base. You could add in some, even a little bit of corn, raw corn. You could add in a little bit of um, red onion, some scallions, all kinds of things. You can add in a little bit of nutritional yeast in here too if you want, but here's what it looks like. Look at that. I make you want to slap your mama. That is really good. And this wooden spoon is so sad because you see the little... You really can't run your Vitamix. Like if you want to come back for another serving and you start throwing in all these ingredients again, though you forgot you ate out of the Vitamix and left your wooden spoon in there. No. I, I caught it quickly, but and, and I still use it, of course, but still. So I wanted to tell you that because... That is very delicious. This is one serving for me. I did not put the avocado, which I thought I might use in the beginning. So again, one celery, one small sweet Vidalia onion, two medium-sized carrots, four decent-sized baby portobello mushrooms, two tablespoons of your frozen shredded coconut, four dates, pitted capped, four medium fat boy tomatoes, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons chili powder, and one to two hot banana peppers. Shazam! You must try it. And it is cool out, and I'm fixing to have my party outside. I have a date with my doggies, and it's going to be a beautiful experience. So I will see y'all tomorrow, and I believe it will be day 10. Day 10 of our Love Fat Raw Vegan Detox Extravaganza. Right? So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Actually, in the morning. <laughs> To come over and eat this with me. It is a large. I could share. I mean, my portion would be bigger, but <sighs> see y'all later.